What's happening guys, Chris here and welcome to another video and in today's tattoo news we're going to be talking about a new machine company that is fresh on the scene. Let's get into it after the intro. And, uh, I don't know if you've noticed it yet but check these out. We got some hats, we got some made, maybe we got some merch coming soon but anyway enough of that. Yes, there's a new machine company that is on the market, I've noticed them on Instagram, I've reached out to them and i chat with them as well. Uh, two former engineers from Cheyenne have decided to set up on their own and they've brought out a new wireless tattoo machine, the Akis M1. That is a wireless tattoo machine. This one has been designed in such a way that it can be completely taken apart um, and you can like autoclave the, the housing and you can really clean inside and it's also a lot more customizable than some of the other wireless pens that are on the market at the moment. So I'm just going to have a little look at some of the specs that they've sent over about this machine. So bear with me while I uh, refer to my notes. The basic technical data of this is going to have a frequency of 36 hertz to 140 hertz. The needle strokes that will be available will be uh, 3 mil, 3.7 and 4.5. The rated power will be 7 watts. It will have a diameter of 35 millimeters and a length of 128 millimeters. It's going to be 181 grams and the battery, uh, the lithium ion battery size is uh, 1, 000, no, 18,500 and is protected and the capacity is 2000 milliamps. So the features that it's gonna have, it will have interchangeable drive heads, intuitive operating and display unit. So from what I can gather, on the top end of the machine, it's gonna have like a digital display so you can see precisely what your voltage is. It's going to have digital motor control system, which means it will have six motor characters or modes, so such as like digital give. Um, they also say, but with the M1, you really do notice a clearly noticeable and useful change in the give modes maybe these could be the ones that have nailed digital give who knows so one of the other features that they say is the hygienic concept uh, they say in the notes that one of the most underrated features when it comes to pen style tattoo machines is uh, the fact that you can't clean them so they have the anodized aluminum housing that can be completely dismantled which then makes it possible for the first time to work absolutely cleanly and hygienically so you can completely strip your machine down and really clean it all the motor that you have it will have a all metal brushless motor by Fall Harbor which will be 7 watt it'll have large bearings it's powerful precise and reliable with the frequency from 36 or 140 hertz and it is the latest and best motor you can currently build into a tattoo machine. So the power unit of it, the, the lithium batteries, they will be changeable, they will be standard sized and they will have the protected circuits on there or, or protection on there. Obviously they're cheaper and let's have a little look. The They're saying that you're looking at around about five hours runtime with the usual settings. That's according to their notes. So standard needle cartridges as well. It says it's gonna be compatible with all standard needle cartridges with an adjustable needle depth from zero to 4.35 millimeters. Uh, but it, it, they do also say that not all cartridges are suitable for a needle depth of 4.5 millimeters. And that actually answers one of the questions that somebody put on a recent video is, why haven't a certain company brought out a five mil stroke and that's because not all cartridges are meant to that is it like the machine looks nice it looks very similar to some of the other pens that are on the market at the moment not sure how i feel about having that middle raised up bit i would like it all to be smooth and like one piece so there's because you don't want anything rubbing on it but that's just like a little bit of an input looking at the pictures looks like you're going to have the same kind of charging option as uh, or some charger option as some of the other machines that are already available. I like the fact, looking at the pictures, that you have got different drive bars, so you can change the stroke on the machine yourself, which is fucking great. But this is pretty cool. Being able to see in a machine that could be completely stripped down, probably something that a lot of companies should have done a long time ago. So, interesting. I don't know how much this is going to cost. As soon as I find out, I will let you guys know. And um, yeah, I'll see you as much information as we can. But so far, that looks pretty cool. I like the look of it. Nice. Pretty good, very nice. 
So yeah, that's me done. Another tattoo news for you guys. And uh, keep an eye out on this one because it does look like it could be pretty cool. They have said they're going to send me a machine to test out. So we'll get that arranged um, and I'll fit that into my schedule and we'll, we'll do like a full breakdown and review and see what this is like. But uh, yeah, there we go. That is me done. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification buttons and everything to keep up to date with everything that we do because we do appreciate it and it does help our channel grow. Like Paul said the other day, there is a massive percentage of you guys that watch our videos that aren't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button because the more people we have subscribed, the more chance we get of working with brands to bring cool stuff for you. So yeah, that's me done. Have an awesome day and uh, yeah, take it easy. Bye.